this video tutorial, we are answering the construction question that came in 2016 paper 2 GCE. And it came as question number four. We've been asked to answer the whole of this question on a sheet of plain paper. So for essays, construct triangle PQR in which PQ is 10 centimeters, PR is 8.5 centimeters, and QR is 9 centimeters. Measure and write the size of the angle PRQ. That's B. And C it says on your diagram, draw the locus of points which are 5.5 centimeters from P, 2 if we distance from P and R, C if we distance from P, R, and P, Q. Okay, let's first and foremost come up with a draft of what we are being asked to find. All right, so we've been asked to draw a triangle or rather to construct a triangle. So we are constructing a triangle. This triangle is labeled P, Q, R. This triangle is labeled P, Q, R. And we've been told that PQ is 10 centimeters. PQ is 10 centimeters. PR is 8.5. PR. Sorry, PR is 8.5. And QR is 9. QR is 9. QR is 9 centimeters. Measure and write the size of PQ, sorry, PRQ. Measure and write the size of PRQ. So PRQ, we need to measure and write that angle. Okay, maybe for a start, let's construct that and then we'll go to C and then D. We are going to use a protractor. Um, a ruler. Our compass over here. And um, the long pencil. So let's start our construction. We'll start with the pencil. PQ is 10 centimeters. Ten centimeters. QR is nine centimeters, of which we don't know. So let's measure using the compass. Let's measure QR, which is nine. So we need to have our compass be at nine centimeters. Okay, that is nine centimeters. Wonderful, nine centimeters. So stand right there and measure nine centimeters. So that is nine centimeters. And we've been told that PR is eight point five. So let's stand at eight point five. Let R. All right, eight point five. Let's reduce that to eight point five. That's eight point five. So we stand on P and we do that. Okay, that's 8.5. So we can connect uh, the lines where the arcs have crossed there, the, the crossing point, that's where the, the point uh, R is going to emerge from. So that is R. This is nine centimeters. 
and this is 8.5 centimeters and we've been asked to measure the angle PRQ PRQ so let's make that necessary measurement so we're going to use a protractor you rotate uh, the paper in a way that you'll be able to measure properly or rather comfortably and align your your protractor nicely make sure that the line pr is aligning with the black line the the, the black line that black line which is uh, right at the base of the protractor Okay, and then we ensure that the ending point of the line P, PR, where R is there, the line has to be perpendicular to the 90 degree angle formed at the top there. Okay, that's perfect. We use our pencil, we measure from the inside. You use the inner, measure, the inner measurement, so 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70 so it's 70 it's crossing right at 70 so you can um do that and um you can indicate that that is 70 degrees so p r q is equal to 70 degrees wonderful we've answered the first part of this question let's go to the c part of uh, this question question 4c he says on your diagram draw the locus of points which are 5.5 from p that's one two if we distant from p and r three if we distance from pr and pq if we distance from pr and pq so let's start with the first part we'll use our draft for now so that we see what we are trying to construct so we've been told that the first locus that you should uh, construct is 5.5 centimeters from p so that's our p 5.5 let's it should be something like that and the distance from there to there should be 5.5 centimeters. Then the next locus we should draw is the equidistance from P and R. The equidistance from P and R. So it should be a straight line which is going to cut the line PR into two, two equal parts. So the distance from there to there and the distance from there to R should be equal. And the third locus that we are drawing is the locus which is equidistant from PR and PQ. Equidistant from PR and PQ, it means it should be made from P there and cutting in that direction. So those are the three locus of points that we are going to construct. Uh, let's now uh, construct them on our actual answer. So the first locus is 5.5 from P. So let's measure 5.5 from P. That's 5.5 from P. And let's construct it. That's 5.5 from P. Wonderful. So you indicate that this is 5.5 from P. That's 5.5 centimeters from P. <coughs> In the second uh, locus of point we've been asked to do 
is uh, one which is if you distant from p and r if you distant from p and r okay so to construct that one okay i think one way you can answer that you stand right here and you do that and you do that on the other side as well without changing anything uh, like i've said you can move this to your liking so these two we've drawn them by standing on r without changing the measurement of the compass you stand at p and you do the same There you go. So the meeting points, you connect them with a ruler. So the meeting points, you connect them there. So this arc has met that arc at that point, and this arc has met this arc at that point. So you connect the two points. So that will, will be something like that. All right, and let's now do the last uh, locus. And the last locus, they've said that it is if you distant from PR and PQ, if you distant from PR and PQ. So the equidistance from PR and PQ is going to be something like this. We enlarge them, we enlarge the compass to any measurement, stand on that leg. So you have to draw an arc or standing on that leg and another one or standing on that one. So let's 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 do that. So you stand there and you do that. Stand the other side and you do the same. You take note of their meeting point, which is somewhere there. And you draw a line connecting P to where those points have met in that way. Wonderful, beautiful. All right, so there we have it. We have constructed the locus of point or the three locus of point and this is how our diagram looks like let's go to question 4d uh, the question 4d says a point s inside triangle pqr is such that s is less than or equal to 5.5 centimeters from p so s is less than or equal to 5.5 centimeters from p it's nearer to p than r it's nearer to p than r it's also nearer to pr than pq and the question says indicate clearly by shading the region in which s must lie so according to the question, we have been given about, let's say, three, three conditions to satisfy. We, those three conditions, when they are satisfied, uh, they will indicate the area where S must lie. So S must satisfy these three conditions. So the first condition is that s is less than or equal to 5.5 centimeters so remember this is the arc for 5.5 centimeters so it is less than or equal to so it's within this section within this section of the arc going this direction the second one is that it is nearer to p than r 
it is nearer to p than r so the top part the top part there is the top part of this line is nearer to r the bottom part of this line is nearer to p so it is within this arc and it is within this section and the last one says it is nearer to pr than pq so pr is there and uh, it is uh, being uh, determined by uh, this line the top of the line indicates nearer to pr and the bottom part of this line is nearer to pq but this third condition has told us that the point is is nearer to pr than to pq so that point which will satisfy those three conditions is or rather that region or area is going to be this one That is where S is going to be. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.